making crab apple jelly. Pick up some crab apple from the tree and wash it and cut it into half. The ingredients are very simple, only crab apple and sugar. Let's get started. I'm going to put those crab apple in the, into a big bowl and boil it. Put all the crab apple into a big pot. And some water. Use the water at the same level as a crab apple and cover the lid. Use the higher heat to boil in the crab apple. Just put the lid in some hot water. I washed some mason jars and put it on the top and to sterilize it. It's bubbly. I'm going to turn the, the heat to media and let it boil in for another 15 minutes. And also I'm going to use the potato masher to mash the, the apple to let the juice out of the apple as much as we can. After 15 minutes, I'm going to turn off the heat, let it cool down for a little bit. Now I'm going to get the juice out of the pot. And also in the meantime, I'm going to measure how many uh, liters of juice we totally get. I use a cloth. This has been draining for six hours. This is the total amount of juice I got from the crab apple. This is a plump from the uh, crab apple and I won't keep it, I just uh, toss it out. The amount of the juice is very important. So I'm going to add the same amount of sugar to reboil it. Going to put the same amount of sugar and boil it. Now mix the sugar with the juice. The jelly has been cooked for one hour and I turn off the heat, let it cool down. The jelly had been in the pot for overnight, cool down. And I'm going to have a look. It's already very firm looking. So I'm going to put it into the mason jar. I'm going to use a paper towel to clean up the, the rim and put on the lid. The lid already washed. And put it back into the pot. I'm going to fill up to the top with the water and turn on the heat to let it to boil and boiling for about 40 minutes. This is all the jam I made from the crab apple. And those are those big mason jars was in the hot water bath and uh, I, we can keep it in the room temperature for a year. The small mason jars is just room temperature. Uh, once we open, we should put it in the fridge and finish up in two weeks. The jam tastes sweet and tart. Definitely, it's good with homemade bread. Thank you for watching.